All right, we're back. You likely have this in your fridge right now, or it's on your shopping list. If not, when it comes to milk, we don't often think about where it comes from. And in Maine, there are more than 200 dairy farms. But dairy farmers are getting some of the lowest prices in years for their milk. It's an issue nationwide, but in Maine, some have found hope in part thanks to niche dairy markets. For example, organic milk used to make yogurt and cheese. It's a life like no other. I mean, I never expected to be doing this, but I can't imagine doing anything else now. Annie Watson and her husband own Sheepscot Valley Farm in Whitefield. With dozens of cows, they produce 450 gallons of organic milk a day. Their milk goes to Stonyfield Yogurt in New Hampshire and is used to make yogurt and cheese. But even by tapping into that niche dairy market, they're feeling the pinch like so many others. Yeah. Dairy farms in the state, dairy farms across the country are facing an economic crisis. Unfortunately, we are at the mercy of price makers and the price setters. We don't control what the price is. Watson says the price drop is devastating. Sometimes we don't pay ourselves, which we're really excited to start doing that a couple years ago, but now we've had to stop because we want to be sure that we're taking care of our employees. They bought the farm in 2013 when many dairy farms were closing. At least 100 closed over the last decade in Maine, according to the Maine Milk Commission. There's no organic processing in the state of Maine at the moment, um, which provides a little bit of uncertainty for us. Whether it's organic or conventional, we could use more dairy processing, you know, mid, small to mid-scale processing in Maine. Julie Marie Bickford is the executive director of the Maine Dairy Industry Association, a trade group which represents Maine's dairy farmers. If we had a wish list of how we could fix the system, we would fix the formula that sets that federal pricing so that what the consumer is paying in the store, the farmer gets their fair share of that. This month, the USDA announced it's starting to implement the 2018 Farm Bill. Watson calls it a Band-Aid. Farmers don't want to be subsidized. Dairy farmers don't want to be subsidized. We'd rather get paid a fair price for our product. And that's not going to happen until there's some stability in the, um, in the market. She and others are concerned about the future with their livelihoods on the line. When you're so connected to the business in which you run and you spend your life, it's really hard to separate the two. So Maine Dairy Farms produce 71 million gallons of milk a year, according to the Maine Dairy Industry Association. 27% of those farms produce organic milk. That's one of the highest percentages in the nation. Right.